Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you a demo of React WordPress theme, which is built in React on the front end and WordPress in the back end. And it also supports pages and posts creation with Elementor. Now the first question comes to my mind that why should I use a WordPress theme in React? What is the advantage of using that? As you can see that it's performant. You could see that there's a blurred effect on the image and you could search the posts and it's so quick there is no page refresh like if for example if I go on the about page notice that there is no page refresh right you click on this one you can see that there is no page refresh uh, right and it's like super fast it's lightning fast this page I created with Elementor so let me show you the backend first so I'm going to go to my pages and then page with Elementor edit it and then if you click on edit with Elementor, you can see that this is the page, yeah, All right? And the same page then appears on the front end React application. If I click on this, there you go. You've got the entire page showing in React application. And it's lightning fast and you can see that it's responsive as well, right? One of the most painful area for users is that when there is poor connectivity or when there is no internet, right? So let me show that to you. So if I open this page in the WordPress, okay, all right, and if I turn off the internet, what happens? I turn it off, now I refresh, there you go, it doesn't work, right? And it's not a great feeling to get this no internet, but look what happens here, right? You can see that my internet is turned off. Now, if I refresh, there you go. You can see it still works. I mean, the video wouldn't play without the internet, but at least the user will be able to see the content, right? You can see all of the content is available even when I'm offline. So this is a great experience for user because then I can go to the home page, I can browse through pages, I can browse through pages, content, and I can just, you know, read it. And that's super useful. Not only that, you'd also be able to go ahead and use it as a mobile application. As you can see, I have gone ahead and opened it in the mobile and you can see that it gives you an option to add to home screen. And when you do that, it adds that web application to your mobile as just as similar to native app. And you can see that you can now open this app and it gives you a native app experience so you can see it looks great in the mobile as well and this is a blog that we created with Elementor right and now if I go to aeroplane mode which means offline and if I refresh the page, voila, it still works. Isn't that brilliant? So I get to use the power of Elementor to create my own pages with very little technical knowledge. And I can take the advantage of using this web application even as a mobile app because it's a progressive web app. It's a PWA, right? And it's performant, it's super fast, and it's really, really good. Yep. Let's go ahead and turn on the internet. Now let's create a live blog post with Elementor and see how that looks in the front end, okay? So I'm gonna go to post. I'm gonna create a post and I'll name it as blog created with Elementor. I'll edit with Elementor. And then I'm just going to open a template and just use it. So let's go with this one. Let's insert it. Okay, there you go. So this is our template. As you can see, it's all created by Elementor. And let's try to see that in the front end. So if I go to blog, you can see that this blog is now available on the front end, which is blog created by Elementor. Click on read more and congratulations. You can see that all of the content that you see here is actually coming from the Elementor. So you can see that all of the content that's created over here is by Elementor. 
and that's exactly what we see in the front end but you get better performance because there's no page reload you get this entire application built in react which is amazing all right and it is also responsive as well you can see that it's responsive right okay which is great which is perfect okay and all of the content that you see here are editable so if you go to site identity in the customizer you can see that all of the text that you see here is actually coming from here and you can edit it uh, you also have the you can edit it then you have your menus so you click on menus you've got your header menu you can see about special journey page with elementor that's exactly what we have here and this is all editable you can rearrange them change them from WordPress and similarly you have the footer menu so a special journey memory about scroll down there you go you've got this menu over here you can also edit the social icons so you can go to social links and you can add your own social uh, links information for this and for the widgets and then if you want to customize this this layout uh, if you want to change the text over here or this image you can actually do that by going on to the home page so if you go to the home page you've got the ACF it's, so it's using ACF and you can edit the title description page link uh, you can change the image you can change this background uh, as well for this and you can go ahead and make any searches if you want like this one right and you can change the text over here you can change the image you can have the taxonomies which are the categories you can edit the icons the text all of that so icons are also editable uh, then you can choose what featured posts you want to show uh, over here in this section so you know you can select the post you can search for post from here so and then finally it shows some of the latest posts as well so basically the point I'm trying to make over here is that this all of the content that you see here is editable so you can use it for your own theme okay and it is totally open source it's it's a free theme that you can use and and thanks to all the beautiful 94 people who have given star to my repository so please uh, you know give a star to my repository if you like my work and do follow me on github as well my github handle is Imran Isaya and uh, also you can deploy it if you're wondering how do I deploy this so you can deploy it the backend on any of the hosting platforms like DigitalOcean or probably HostGator or any other hosting platform you can also deploy the front end on any of the hosting platform like for example I have given you the demo I have deployed it on the Netlify so this one's on Netlify and then I there's one on Vercel as well okay so you you have the front-end options of deployment as well uh, if you're wondering how the domain would look like so your front-end will be example.com and your back-end could be example.com slash wordpress or uh, wordpress.example.com uh, as well for so subdomain or subdirectory domain you can choose whichever you want to but the main domain will be your front-end domain whichever you're going to use all right so all of the instructions how to uh, set it up is is given over here and you can also you can also install it from the NPM so it's there on the NPM as well as you can see that uh, this is there on the NPM so you can install it as a package and use it with your Gatsby uh, theme as well alright so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and uh, go ahead and test it out with the Elementor if it needs any improvement this project is open source and what I love about the open source community is that people here contribute help each other I can already see that you know there are people using it so if you find out that it needs improvement then definitely you can contribute to the project and make it even better for others all right so I'll see you in the next video thank you very much Bye. -bye. Oh, 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 oh,